Good evening, and welcome to True Doug Man Encounters. I'm your host, Marvin Allen. If you or anybody you've known have had an encounter and they would like for me to tell it on my show, please contact me. I would love to hear from you. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go do so now. Click the link below. And don't forget, if you do look at my videos, like, subscribe, and share. As you know, I got a Facebook now. Um, we started one, and we do go live twice a week. And, you know, we basically talk about Doug, man, but we're going to... um. Switch it up a little bit. We're going to talk about everything. We're going to talk about all cryptids, not just one. Every cryptid we can think of that a person has seen, and we can get them on the show, or I could get this eyewitness to talk to me. That's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about everything. Not Like I said, not just you know cryptids. We're going to um, UFOs, aliens, demons, um, men in black, black hat men, um, shadow people, um, skinwalkers. We're going we're gonna to cover everything, the whole board. That's what makes us different from the rest is another thing. The host, which is me, it's not just my page or my show. It's y'all show and page two. Because y'all are a part of the pack. Y'all my family. Y'all my extended family. So y'all got just as much right to say what y'all want, to speak. You can call in anytime you want to share any encounters that you had. So that's what make ours so much different from the um the others. Um as y'all know, last year it was a rough year, not just for me, but for everybody, you know. You know, I um I lost some things. Um um I'm still dealing with a um a lot of stuff right now. Um lost a lot of members too, but um, you know, God's willing, you know, I'll get all of them back. Um I'm just glad that the ones that stuck and stayed, man, I'm so grateful that they still there, you know, and they still support me. And I'm not going to um, stop doing what I love to do, you know, um, and this is my passion. So I'm going to continue to keep doing this, you know, as long as I can, as long as God permits me to, you know, I'm going to continue to help people. I'm going to continue to go out in the field and I will be going back out this year when it get warm again, because I got a couple of. I witness that want me to come down on their property and, and look around, you know, take some pictures and some videos, you know, might get some ev evidence down there, um, footprints, who knows. So I'm going to go do that because I gave them my word. And one thing, if anybody know me in my pack or um, any of my subscribers, if I say something, my word is law, it's bond. If I give you my word, that's all I got at the end of the day. And I stand on that. And I don't break that for nobody. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing that. Um, my encounter tonight is is it's going to be one part of Ty J. Because um, a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going um, you know, to do the update on her. Um, and I finished her, um, her encounter, um, which is going to take a few of them. Because I'm... Um, it's not real long, but, you know, I'm going to break them down and I'm going to put them in, you know, in, 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 in different ones. I'm going to tell one and tell another one and tell another one. And, you know, that should, that, that should clear her, um, her um, final encounters. Um, because, um, like I, I told her, it's amazing how you built a bond with these creatures and how you can get so close to them. And I asked her that question and she said, Marvin, I don't even know. I don't know what it's about me. I don't know if it's my smell. I don't know what it is. You know, so that's something that she said that she really want to find out. How come she can get so close to these creatures, man? And um, it's, it's just amazing. And um, I'm here to just share this first part of three of her final encounter that she gave me. So without further ado, let's jump right into this encounter 
Now, as you know, the first time that Ty J saw one of these creatures, man, it devastated her. She urinated, she couldn't move or nothing like that. She just stood still. She didn't want no parts of it. She wanted to go back home. You know, her cousin left her and everything. So, and that's what she did. But it would it would pull her right back down there again because of the death of her grandfather. So when she goes down there for the funeral, that's when Ty J made a connection with these creatures. You know, that's when she, like, she bonded with them, a, 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 a family pack that she bonded with them, you know, and, and, and they, they would talk to her, you know, they would come up to her. They have touched her. They have smelt her. They did all these things, man, and, and, and it's just amazing. And um, now, as you, if you, some people that don't know and some people that do know, she had a baby. So Ty J wanted to take the baby down there so, you know, the grandmother, you know, can see it. So that's what she told her mother. She said, I'm going to go down here and spend some time with grandma, but I'm going to bring the baby back. So that's what Ty J do. Ty J go down there. She spend time with her grandmother and she takes the baby with her so when she gets there you know take the stuff in you know she get a baby to her grandmother the whole she put her stuff away and she goes back in there and talk to her grandmother when she goes in there grandmother kissing on the baby and she talking to it and you know just saying things that a grandmother would say to her um you know a grandchild so Ty J said she had this look on her face that she really never seen before. And she said, Grandma, what's wrong? And her grandmother said, I miss him. I miss him so much. And Ty J just went blank. Said she just had this blank stare on her face and she started crying. And she said, Grandma, I miss him too. I miss him so much. I wish he was here to share this moment with us because he shouldn't be here. You know, but she said he in a better place. So they talked some more, and then her grandmother said, I know you're tired from your trip. Go ahead in there and take the baby in there. Y'all can um, get some rest. Now, mind you, Ty J said when she got there, the first couple of days, she didn't get no activity. She didn't see nothing. So she said around the third day is when this creature made its presence. Now, Ty J said ever since she had felt this connection with these creatures, she said she would get this feeling. Every time she get this feeling, one of these creatures all around. They were at the window, the back porch, on the side of the house. She said every time she get this feeling, it's one around. So she says she land in the bed and she gets this feeling. She sits up. And when she sits up, it's this creature at the window. So what Ty J does, she picks her baby up. This is th these her words. This is what she said. She says she picks her baby up and she walks it over to the window. She holds it in her arm and she shows it to the creature. She say this creature just looked. It tilted his head, looked at that baby, and then it tilted it back up and it looked at Ty J. Ty J said for some reason, it looked like that creature had a smile on its face, like a smirk, but like a smile. She said that's what it looked like to her. She said then she, you know, backed up and went back and sat on the bed, held the baby, started shaking and rocking it and patting her on the back. And the dove creature stirred at her one more time and he turned and he left. And he won't he walk back across their um property back into the um and back up into the tree line. So Ty J say she go to bed. She say the next day she gets up, you know, gets up, get herself together, get her baby up, you know. She feeds her baby, she goes in there, they eat breakfast, and she say, um, um, grandma, um, if you don't need me to do anything, can you um watch the baby for a minute while I go outside? So grandma said, yeah, go ahead. You can just go outside. Just be careful. Please, Ty J. She said, Grandma, I'm going to be okay. I'm all right. And Ty J, you know, she went out back. She went on the back porch. Now, mind you, when she goes out on the back porch, this is what these creatures started to do, she said. She said they started 
to, to, to bring her gifts and leave stuff on the back porch steps. So that's what they was doing. So she goes out there and see what she says is a gift that they left for her, either her or the baby. You know, she said she really didn't know they left it for both. She says, so she, you know, she takes it and, you know, she looks at it because it's nothing but sticks and stuff. And she just throws it down at the bottom of the steps into the grass. She looks over and glances it to the tree line, but she don't see nothing. You know, she don't see nothing over there. So she goes back in the house, you know, her and her grandmother. She says she sit down with her grandmother and they, you know, they, they talking and stuff like that. So Tajay said, um, you know, I'm going to take the, um, the, um, the baby back up because, you know, it's still small and, you know, um, grandma, you know, what's around here on the property. And I just want to take the baby back up, you know. She said, I, but I don't think that they would do nothing to her, but still, I want to take her back up. So that's what Ty J do. Ty J takes her baby back home to her mother. So while Ty J is up there, they still bringing, you know, gifts. And the grandmother says she would walk past Ty J room and she would just see these yellow eyes looking in the window. Like these things are looking for Ty J and the baby. And and they just looking right through the window. And the grandmother say she would look and see them just peeping in the um in the window. And then it would look over at her. And then it would just turn and just walk away. Now, the grandmother said that they did this on numerous occasions, but Tajay wasn't there. So the grandmother said that what she did is because she didn't feel comfortable, Tajay wasn't there. She wasn't used to these things. She said she called the friend. Friend came over and she said, um, I'm having, you know, trouble with these wild ducks. She didn't tell this man that they walk and, you know, they look human. She said they just wild dogs around here and they um you know they just be going in my trash and stuff and I, I just want I'm just trying to get you know rid of them this is what she say at the time because she really don't know what to say you know so he calls some of his friends over they comes over there now mind you when they get there the first couple of days that they there because they was coming over there every day but the first couple of days they didn't see nothing you know, now, the day before they left, they sitting out back, you know what I mean, just to see if any going to come on the property or whatever. And they say they glance into the tree line, and the guy say, look, 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 there go, there go right there, look, there go right there. So the guy point, and he looks. So one of the guys get up, runs down the steps, and he just starts shooting. He ain't say nothing. He just start blasting. He just starts shooting. The thing just takes off running because the grandmother says she can just hit the bullets because the bullets coming out the gun so loud. So the she said the creature just runs straight up into the tree line. Now, mind you, the grandmother say, what, what are y'all doing? Why, why, why are you trying to kill her? What, what are you doing? Why are you trying to shoot it? She said, well, what do you want us to do? You want us to get rid of it? She said, no, I don't, I don't want you to to kill it. I didn't call y'all here to do that. She said, well, what did you expect us to do? So she going back and forth with them. And she said, well, can y'all just, y'all just leave my house and my property. Um, don't even worry about it. You know, maybe it was a mistake for me to even call y'all over here. Now the grandmother is real emotional because now she got to tell Ty J. Now a few days later, Ty J comes back. And when she gets there, you know, she say, hey, grandma, are you OK? You know, she asked her grandma, if she OK? What she been doing? She was gone. She was like, um, it's something I have to tell you, Ty J. And she say, what? What's wrong, grandma? She say, well, you know, they were still coming, bringing that stuff and putting it on the steps. But I felt uncomfortable. I would see him look in your window at night. Um, to see if you were in there, um, I called some friends over. They came over here, and they saw one out there, and they started shooting at it. She said, did they kill it? Did they shoot it? What they, what they, did they, what they do, Grandma? Did they kill it? 
She said, no, no, baby, no, no, they didn't kill it. Because she say Ty J was getting real emotional because she she said that she cared about these creatures and she didn't want to see nothing happen to them. So once her grandmother explained to her, you know, she calmed down and, you know, she understood it because her grandmother wasn't used to them like she was, you know, so... They talked that out and everything, and she said, Grandma, promise me that you will never do this again. Please, I don't want to see none of these creatures get killed or nothing like that or captured. She said, I promise you, Ty J, I won't ever do that again. And she said, thank you, Grandma. So Ty J said, she goes in her room and she sits down, and then she said she was just thinking, and because she don't, she, she don't know what really went on, only what her grandmother told her. So two days pass and they don't even come by. She just say she don't even get that feeling. Now she say the third day she gets that feeling and she's in her room. So that feeling she get, she know one of them creatures is around. She sets up in bed, and it's one standing at the window, staring at her. But when she slides to the edge of the bed, she said, and she looks out there, she says she looked at this thing face, and it just looked, it looked different. She said it didn't look like it looked before she left. She said it, it looked like it had a, 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 a um, like a, like it had to look like what like 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 something like something ha happened to a person that's what she was basically that's what she was trying to say it just didn't look the same put it that way so she says she gets up and she walks over and she stands and she looks at it and these this, this just get me every time she tells me that she say this creature spoke to her again. And she said this creature said. And it said. She said it sounded clear as day. Why try to hurt me? Why try to hurt me? She said she heard those words. Clear as day. And Ty J just looked. And she just stared at this creature. And she said when she heard those words. She said her eyes start the water. Because she could look. In this creature face. And see this whole expression just change. She said then this creature just turned around. And it walked away. Ty Jed said she even tried to knock on the window. Tap on the window to, to get this creature attention. This is what she was thinking. She didn't. She not thinking rationally. So she leaves out her room. And she goes through the house. Goes out back. Open the door. She goes on the porch. She goes on the porch. This thing must have heard the door come open, she said. She said that's when it turned around. Tajay said she stood on top of the porch. And this thing turned around and it walked over there. It stood at the bottom of the steps, she said. And it looked up at her. She said, but this time when it looked up at her, the facial expression, it changed. It didn't look like it looked at the window. You know, so she was relieved. Because she said she would never wish harm on none of them. So it turns around and it just leaves. It walks back up into the tree line. Now, Tajay goes in her house. She said, while she's in bed, she's thinking. She's saying... Why I haven't been saying, you know, saying the rest of them. So she said, like the third day is when she saw the two small ones. But they wasn't small no more. She say she goes outside and she walks up to the tree line where this little path she used to always take. And she stands in the path. So she looking around, but she don't see nothing. She said about 20 feet, she hears something. 
like a branch blade. And she hear that. But it's high. She, it's not low. She says she hears something high. Breaks. Breaks a, a branch. And it drops and it hits the ground. Poop. And she looks up. And when she looks up, she says she see two more black creatures up in a tree. So she watching them. She said all of a sudden, they jumps down, hit the ground, boom. So they walks out and they walks on the path. They take a few steps and then they stop. Ty J said she didn't move. She didn't flinch. She didn't say nothing. She just stood there. She said because she got, she said she got this feeling that she knew that they was the two small ones that she seen before. She said so one of them creatures walked down there to where she was at. It leaned over and it sniffed and it moved back. She said when it did that, it stirred at her. She said then this creature turned and it looked at the other one standing on a path. And when it was standing on a path, she said the one that was by her did something, some kind of motion with his hands or something. And he put it back down in the front. And then it turned and it walked back down there to the other one. She said they both looked at her again. Then they turned around and they walked back to where they came from. And she left. She said she knew for a fact that they was the same two that she seen when they was little. Because she said she got this feeling. She said she don't know where this feeling come from. She said, but she know every time she get this feeling, one of these creatures around. Now, it's a surrogate, she said. So she goes, you know, goes outside and she sits on the back porch. She said, while she's sitting on the back porch, something catches her eye. But it's running and it's running on all fours. And it's shooting through the wood line. She said, but this wasn't. None of the ones that she seen. She said this one was gray. And it's flying. Through the tree line. It's just it's just running. It just bolted. And she tried to see which way it was going. She said it was going like east. Because the other side would be west. She said it was going east. And it was just running through the tree line. So she was like. She said she was thinking for a minute. She was like. Did they have another, you know, another kid or whatever? Or they, This is what she said was going through her mind. She don't really know, you know, so that's what she thinking. So she stayed out there to see if she see, you know, any of the, um, the ones that she know, the black ones. So she don't see none. So she said it was getting dark and it was getting late. So she decided to just go ahead and go in the house. So when she go in the house... None don't no action at night. Said the next day she comes out and she sits on the back porch. She said about two hours pass. That's when she see one black one comes out of the tree line. It stops. She said that's when it started like on all fours. It would pace one side, turn. It would pace the other side, turn. And it was pacing the other side. She said it kept doing that. For a few seconds, it just it just kept going back and forth, and it stopped, and it looked at her, and she said it looked at like it was just, it would breathe real heavy because it seemed she could see like his shoulders moving, but they went all forward, but the way it was breathing, she said then it just turned, and it walked back down into the tree line, and it left, so she was like, you know, thinking, you know, why was it doing that? I mean, you know, what's wrong? So. She said she sat out there to just see if, you know, any of them would just come back again, you know, which they didn't. So she went in the house, went in the room, and she laid down. She said she didn't get that feeling at all that, you know, none of them was around. So she said a few days passed, nothing. She said like on the fourth day, she gets that feeling again. And when she gets that feeling again, she gets up, you know, gets herself together. She goes out back, and it's one on all fours standing by this tree. 
just inside of the tree line. It's on all four standing there, you know, and she, you know, she's go, she out there and she just, she watching it. She looking at it. So while she watching it, she see this thing just turn his head and it starts sniffing. And when it starts sniffing, it looks to its right. And when it looks to its right, it sees that gray creature because Ty J can see it now. And when it see that gray creature, she says she could hear this thing growl. Now, the distance from her house to that tree line, that's quite a few yards. She said, but when this thing, she could hear this thing growl, she said she could feel it because it was so loud and so powerful. And it's growling in the direction of this great creature. So when it sees this great creature, after this thing finished growling, she said it started bolting in the direction of the gray one. The gray one just turns and it takes off too. The black one is chasing it. You know what I mean? She can hear trees and sticks breaking and all that stuff. They just, I mean, they just bolting, you know what I mean, through the, um, through the um, tree line. So she stands up. She still, she leaves sight of, sight of him. So she don't know what happened. So a few days pass again. She say she don't get that feeling. She said like on the fifth day, because she said it was almost a week that passed and she ain't get that feeling at all. She said she get that feeling like on the fifth day. She get that feeling that, you know, one of these creatures around. She said, but when she goes outside and she see this creature, she said it's walking, but it's walking like with a like like a limp. Like it was like it was hurt. She said it didn't walk. Like it usually walked. She said it walked like it was hurt. And she said she was concerned. Because she said this thing must have got into a fight. With this rival gray dog man creature. Wherever it came from. You know it must have just came through there. And tried to mark that, that you know the territory or something. Or it knew more dog men was around there. She said, but this dog man creature that she know, it was walking like it like like it, it it was limping, like it was hurting, but it was on all fours. You know, so it walked out of the tree line, it came through her property, cross, coming towards her, and she said it stopped and it laid down. She said, and when it laid down, she could see it start licking his hand. She said that's what it was doing. It started licking his hand. You know, like it's like it, it hurt it or something. But it was just it was licking it, you know, and then it would look up at her and it would start licking it again. It'd look up at her and it'd start licking it again. She said that's how she know that this creature got in a fight with this gray one, and it must have got hurt. Now, I'm going to stop right there. That's the first part I'm going to give y'all. Like I told you, it's going to be a three-part series, and I should knock them all out, but it it, it, it gets better, and it, get, it, it gets gooder. Um, and I, I just, man, I just, I love Ty J, man, because, I mean, the way she stands up for these creatures, man, even though they animal and they human, whatever you want to call them, man, they still, they, they, they still got a mind, you know, because she say when she look into their eyes, man, she could see the intelligence in them, you know, and it's just, it, it, it's just crazy, man. So I'm going to stop right there and I'm going to upload that so y'all can um hear that and um I'm going to, um, I'm going to upload the next one 
tomorrow. So with that, I'll see you on um, part two of um, Tajay Encounter.